everybody! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Now, the question today is, can you get a facelift from a foundation? And in just a few minutes, I'll be showing you the application of this great new City Beauty product. You can tell I like it already. It is on my skin right now. And basically, you mix this with your foundation, and it is supposed to be a little bit of a facelift. This is called the Skin Lifting Booster and I'll show you how it works in just a few moments. This is not a sponsored video. I just think this is a very interesting product and I will show you its application in just a few moments. And here's a look at my casual outfit for the day and I'll give you a little tip on sweatshirts. Basically, this one is linked below, but I always go a size up in sweatshirts because they tend to shrink and I really like that oversized look. Also, all my jewelry is linked below in addition to the sweatshirt. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll join the 50 Plus Beauty family by hitting that subscribe button and or giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. And I will tell you, I'm very casual today because it is a Saturday here in Wichita, Kansas. And I was just kind of hanging around the makeup room and I went to the mailbox and I got this from City Beauty in the mail. And it is called their Skin Lifting Booster. And what it is, it's a little product that you can drop like two or three drops of it into your foundation and apply it all over your face. Let me see what they say. They gave me this wonderful little card here. It says, enjoy tighter, firmer, more sculpted looking skin. It's hard to say. With Skin Lifting Booster. It says, instantly creates a tightening and lifting effect. And I have it on and I really think it has done that. I am 64 years old. Actually, no, I'm 63, but by the end of this week on Friday, April 22nd, I will be 64 years old. And so every little bit of firmness helps because I'm definitely starting to get some saggy jowls and nasal folds that are kind of sagging, that kind of thing. It says increases the look of skin firmness and elasticity can be mixed with other formulas to amplify the results. It says reduces the look of sagging on the face, jawline and neck. Oh, and I did use it on my neck. I didn't realize that they actually told you that you could use this on the neck, but I'm going to show you that application towards the end of the video. Basically, this can be used on its own, but they recommend you add two to three drops of this into your foundation for an instant firming effect. And again, I have this on right now. So let me take you back to my bare face before I knew if this worked, and I will show you the complete application of this facelifting foundation product. Okay, I'm now going to try this skin lifting booster. We'll see if it works. And to do that, I'll put it on one half of my face mixed with my foundation and we'll look at the other half of my face. And I'm going to be using this Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Love this. Got this from Emily Noel. I'll go ahead and do this. It was in her Emily Awards and she absolutely loved it. Now I'm going to take my BK Beauty 101 Foundation Brush, love it, and Pore Professional Setting Spray. I'm trying not to get that running off. Three or four spritzes of that. Then I forgot, I also need to get some of this skin Lifting Serum right here. It's City Beauty. And this is not sponsored, by the way. However, they did send this to me. It said two or three drops. One, two, three. Oh, four. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope that was okay. I got a fourth drop there. And I'll go ahead and take my BK Beauty 101 and mix that together in there. And I'll just go ahead and put it all over this side of my face. Boy, that looks pretty, pretty yellow, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not used to not dabbing it on my face first. Normally I put dots of foundation on my face and then I smooth it out using the BK Beauty 101. But this time I just kind of dipped it all in there. Boy, I think I got way too much. It's pretty though. I'll go ahead and put a little bit down here. I don't want to get my sweatshirt all foundation-y. It's kind of weird just doing one half of your face. You have to split your nose, split your chin. You know, it does feel like it is somehow firming. I'll put a little bit under my chin because if you're like me, you're getting a little bit of sag down there and uh, it's no fun. And it's nice to think about pulling it up a little bit. Okay, I'll be back in a minute because I need to give it a minute to dry. Oh my goodness, it didn't even take a minute. This is crazy. 
this is my tighter side, and this is the side that was all bulgy. <sighs> look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how sculpted that cheekbone looks compared to this one. This one looks all baggy and saggy, and this one just looks nice and tighter. And then look at my jowls down here. Look at this jowl versus this jowl. This one does not look tight, and this one looks really sculpted. Ladies, I am surprised by this. Oh my goodness. Man, I really think this side looks much more beautiful than this side. Okay, now let me go ahead and apply it to the other side, and we'll see if we can get a good, if we can get a good match. Okay, there we go, back of hand. Foundation, I probably used a little too much. We'll go ahead and do, maybe I'll do four again. That seemed to work well. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And we're going to take the BK Beauty 101. I'll do it exactly the way I did it, which is to put it on here. Again, it's got a really yellow look, but that should go away if it's like the other side. Get a little more on there. And this is a good foundation too, by the way. I really like it. It's reasonable, it's drugstore price, and anything that Emily Noel puts in her awards, her yearly Emily Awards, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll go a little bit under here. Now, I need to put a little more under this side. I don't feel like I have much foundation left. I hope I can get a lift over here like I did on the other side. Okay, let me go off camera for a minute and I'll come back. Wow, I think that looks really very, very good. And you know, it kind of has, I won't say really a tingle, but you can kind of feel kind of a lifting, firming feeling in your skin. It's very unusual. It's very subtle, but you definitely can feel kind of a, a lifting sensation in your face. And I have used these types of things before, at least I think they were, that Peter Thomas Roth lifting serum or firming serum. I'll link that video below. It was a really good one. But in the case of that firming lifting product, it would cause a white haze and it was kind of difficult to apply, definitely. But this had none of that. And look how nice that looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, here I am and I've gotten that one all dry. And oh my goodness, this stuff really works. I, I truly can't believe it. Look how lifted and tight and toned both sides of my face look. Basically the jowl, I still have a little bit maybe over here, but it does not look quite so bad. And this side is totally lifted, like I have no jowls at all. My cheekbones look a little higher and more lifted. Oh my, I really think I like this. Let me go ahead and finish off my makeup and I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, now here I am with full makeup and OMG, the City Beauty people I think have knocked it out of the park. Look how sculpted my face looks. One side, and I think it's this side, usually looks a little baggier and saggier. And it does look a little bit bigger than this side, but look how lifted everything looks. Oh my gosh. I think I have found something that just a few drops will be in all of my foundations from here on out because, you know, I'm going to be 64, oh my gosh, at the end of this week, April 22nd, I'll be 64. But with a product like this, I mean, I feel probably 63. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I really do think that worked. And thank you, City Beauty, for sending this to me because I absolutely love it. Now, I do have one question, and that is that I have this turkey neck, and I really don't expect this to work on that. But I'm going to go ahead and mix a little foundation with this, and I'm going to go ahead and try it on that turkey neck skin. We'll see if I can do anything for that. I'll just put a little dab of foundation there, and I guess I'll just go with one drop of this magic serum. This stuff is crazy. And by the way, I have a discount code below the video, so if you want to try this, you can order it and get a good discount with my discount code. I don't remember what it is right now, but anyway, okay. I'll just kind of put this down here. Ooh, that foundation. <laughs> it looks pretty white compared to my neck. Oh, well. Let's forget about that, but give me a minute and I'll come right back. 
You know, I can feel that tightening on my neck and I didn't expect to see any difference, but I think I might see a little difference. If you could let me know down in the comment section, if you think it looks a little better, you know, it's not going to be perfect. I'm almost, well, I'll be 64. Like I mentioned, I was going to say I'm almost 65, but I don't want to make myself that at this point. But I really do think that it just gave a subtle lift to that turkey skin on my neck. Let me know in the comment section if you feel like it did something to my face up here, which I really do. It almost made my foundation a facelift in a bottle. I am not kidding. I am not used to looking this lifted and this kind of radiant looking in terms of my skin. Everything just has a beautiful, more flawless finish than it would when I use this foundation because I use this a lot. So I'm very familiar with how it looks, but oh my, I'll come in a little closer. Very, very, very pretty and very sculpted, very lifted. Really can't believe this product. How lovely is that? And so you'll know the rest of the makeup I have on my face, at least some of it. I have the Morphe Truth or Bear palette, which I absolutely love. This is a look at that. Whoa, it fell out, but very neutral colors. Love that. And I've also got several Laura Geller products on that I really like. This is the bronzer that I have all over my face. This is the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten in Fair. And it just comes out a beautiful, very neutral, kind of a light tannish looking product. It's perfect for my skin. Love that. And then I have in the highlighted areas, her classic, which is her champagne highlighter. It's called French Vanilla. And I have it above my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. I'll put a little more on there. And on my little bee stung area there, my lips. Whoa, I don't think I should have done that. But anyway, I love that. And I really love this blush. It's been my go-to blush for about the past month. I love it. This is her Baked Blush and Brighten Blush in Pink Buttercream. And I think I had this in a faves video recently, but I do love that. Absolutely beautiful, very natural pinky peach color, which goes either warm or cool. So it works for just about everyone. Friends, I absolutely love this product and I think I've found something that will become part of my normal makeup on a daily basis. And if you're interested in the things that keep us looking and feeling our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'm going to be sharing something that I got from watching one of the YouTube videos of my little psychologist that I'm going to. It's really weird. I'm going to Dr. Lance Parker, PhD here in Wichita. And basically I started going to him because amazingly enough, he has a program that helps you deepen your religious faith. And I thought that would be really interesting, but his philosophies and tips are really helping me just have a happier life, which is wonderful. And one of them I got from his YouTube channel. And that is, as you're going through your day, if you need a little pick me up, all of us need to have a theme song a song that kind of picks us up, makes us happy, makes us raring to go for the day, and we can use it almost like a medication. And I don't know if I'm allowed to play this for you. I did that, and my absolute favorite theme song, and I will post a list below the video of maybe 30 theme song worthy songs, so you might be able to find your song. And if you do, please list it in the comment section below, but I'll play just a tiny bit of my song if I can find it. I love this song. This is Desiree's song, You Gotta Be, and it is my theme song, at least lately. Let me turn it off here. I'm really not sure I'm allowed to play much more than that on YouTube for you, but that was my sister and my theme song when we started our business 25 years ago. We had both come off of working for my parents' company. We helped them become very wealthy and we got fired. <laughs> so that was a little down point in my life, but I do believe God doesn't give bad gifts and it turned out to be a wonderful blessing because that resulted in Laura and I starting our own company, which we have to this day, but we used to drive to work and listen to that song. It was our theme song that helped us rise to the occasion and start our own business. So I guess what I'm telling you is, I hope you'll either look at my list and find your theme song or look somewhere on YouTube, somewhere to find your theme song, get a song that really makes your heart sing and use it like medication anytime you need to give yourself a boost of happiness. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.